Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create the basics of a quest game in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. So if I go into Fortnite and I go to start game, this is basically the scenario that we would have. You would be given a quest to like go over to where that trigger is right there. I know this is not very far to go, but you would go over there to the, there and basically complete your quest. And then you get an apple. And then you come to the store and it's unlocked. But now that you got the apple, the door opens and then off you go to the next quest. So it's basically, you know, go over there, go do that, or go get that and then you can open up your next level and you just keep going from there and there. And this is very easy to set up. So I'll be back in just a minute to show you how to do this. Okay, so to get started with this, we're just gonna go to File, New Project and we'll just pick the blank island template right there and just give it a second to load up. And there it is. And then we're gonna delete one of these spawners because we only need one. And there's just a few things that we need. They don't take us long to get them. Make sure you're on the all folder here and the first thing we need is a trigger device so we'll go to trigger the trigger would be good for a location based quest where you're telling somebody you know hey go go over here go way over here to do such and such you know but i'm not i'm not going to place the trigger that far away but you could tell somebody hey go to the castle or go to the haunted house or go to the room in the house or go to the bus station or whatever and as soon as they get there they would trigger the trigger and that would open up a level for them to go to the next quest. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna need is a door, like a barrier, to give the idea of what a barrier would be. We can just get this as our sample barrier right there. And then we're gonna need a lock device. So we'll get a lock device and drag that onto the scene right there. And then we're going to need an item spawner and there's that. No, that's another lock device. I need uh, an item spawner. Item spawner. Spawner. Where is it? Right here. There's that. And then last thing we need is what's called a conditional button. So we'll get that, a conditional button right there. Okay. So now let's just position this stuff around in the world a little bit, especially these, the lock device, and especially the lock device, I should say. So the lock device really needs to be on the door itself. And literally, we can just put it on the door. So I hit the space bar, and I can rotate this. And let's just move it over here, and literally just put it on, on the door. And then the conditional button... Since it acts like kind of a key lock, and basically that's what it is essentially, is we're gonna go ahead and put that right next to the wall as well. And just see, I can kind of get down here and make sure it's flush with the wall, and it is. And there is that. And then we just need to set the direct event binding on all this stuff. Now, um, of course, this trigger should be way far away as part of the quest. I'm just, for convenience, I've just got it right there. So we can start with the, I don't think the trigger is, it's a sending device, so it's not really gonna do anything, I don't think. So here, on the item spawner, with it selected here in the outliner and selected in the scene. We can kill the spawn on timer because we don't need that. We need an item for it to spawn. And so we'll just open this up and we'll just pick a apple. I like to pick an apple because it's right there. And then we want it to spawn when someone steps on the trigger. So here, down here where it says should be under the bindings here spawn item yes so we're going to search for the trigger device here and then on triggered so basically we set it to on triggered when you when someone steps on the trigger over there we want you to spawn an apple 
Okay, and then that's all we have to do in here. Okay, and then on to the next item, which is, well, let's do our, I guess we can do our lock device since we're right over here. So we want the initial state of the door to be locked and closed. And then we want it to unlock based on the conditional button here. So we want it to open and unlock. So here we're going to pick the conditional button and set it to on activated and then open we'll also choose the conditional button there and again on activated and i believe that's all we have to do there and then on the conditional button with that selected make sure that's selected and we need to it says where it says key item the key item is going to be an apple so that's one of the keys that it needs I believe that's all we have to do. I don't think there's anything else we have to do. It already says on activated two elements here. You see that? Everything's set up. So I believe that's it. <clears throat> that's all there is to it. Can you believe that? And let's go ahead and save and launch our session. And because this takes a couple minutes, I'll be back as soon as it's done loading and we'll test it. Okay, we're almost back. It's loading in the edit session right now. Hey, notice this guy kind of has a smirk on his face. He has like the ultimate smirk, I noticed. I, I think it's interesting too. I don't know that the story is here, but she seems to be giving this guy over here the evil eye. See that? She's looking right at this guy. And everybody's spiking the camera. Even this guy over here is spiking the camera. So we're in the hub. It's almost it's almost ready to go. He's doing that walk away thing. Okay, so let's see. We'll start the game. And here we go. So let's imagine I come to the game world. I got to get through here. Oh no, I'm locked and I really need to get in there. What am I going to do? Now, there would be of course a message in here somewhere. How come I don't see anything? Oh, they're all on this side. Okay, I started on the wrong side. <laughs> okay, so pretend I start on this side. Oh no, it's locked. What am I going to do? I got to get through. And then it'd be like, there's a message like, go to such and such. Okay, and then pretend it's a long ways away, right? And then, oh, but it's only right here. So here I come. Ching. Uh-oh, there's an apple. Get my apple in my inventory. Fantastic. Now I come over here. Look, I need an apple to get in. Eat for apple, the door opens. I can make that lock device not visible in the game. So, Oh, that's going to be a problem too, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, that is a problem. Okay, so let me escape and fix that real fast. So that's a little bug in our game. So I hit escape and minimize. Let's go in here. Let's see. On the lock device. What are my choices? There should be a choice here for static mesh, maybe. Collision. Generate overlap events. Collision preset. Let's set it to no. Overlap all dynamics. How about that? And then, let's see, there should be one visible in game here. Let's see, where is visible in game? Oh, visible during game, no. Okay, so let's save those changes and push those changes. But other than that, it looked like it's working fine. So we shouldn't be able to see this lock device and it should impair our, our, our travel and I think I could have actually just placed it off to the side and it would still work, but I just thought I'd put it on the door to make sure. So we'll do the same thing that we just did. I, I should have moved the spawner on this side of the door, but you, you get the idea of what's going on. So this is your first, our first game that we're making. But I love how easy it is to, to get the game dynamics down. This would have taken a long time in Unreal Engine. I don't even want to think about how long it would have taken. You know, just to build even a door that opens can take like 10 or 15 minutes, you know? Just get the door to open. And then all these other, all these trigger boxes and then this and that. And the only thing missing from our game is some messaging. 
So, but I've done some tutorials already on how to put up signs and messaging inside the game. It's really easy to do. You can use uh, billboards or, you know. Okay, here we go. So let's go into Fortnite and we'll start the game. Click in here. Oh, escape, start. And let's see. I'm going to spawn in on the wrong side of the door, so just forget that part of it. But Okay, so I go to my quest, go to trigger. There's my apple that I need. I need for apple. I come over here. Look, I can't. It's locked. I can't get in. And then I come over here. I give them my apple. The door opens. And look, no lock device, no nothing. And we have unimpeded access. And that's it. That's how you create your first basic game. And you just have to replicate this function and create your own environment. And the environments are already built for you and everything else. So. Anyway, that's all I had for today. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.